Unicorn Formaggi says, may we have a little shimmy, please, for the folks just joining us? Of course, King. Oh, finally, someone realizes that I am a male presenting male to female trans. Blount uh, County DA blocked from enforcing anti-drug law ahead of Pride Festival. So in the space of two days, it was heard before the court and the DA lost. Federal judges blocked an East Tennessee district attorney from enforcing a state law restricting public drag performances after he sent a letter to the organizers warning they could be prosecuted if they violated the law. U.S. District Attorney Judge Ronnie Greer granted a temporary restraining order against the DA for, from enforcing the EAE Act. Adult Entertainment Act, the AEA, a state law that bans adult cabaret entertainment on public property or where children, where children could see it, which was ruled unconstitutional by a federal district judge in West Tennessee in June. Ahead of a planned celebration of the LGBTQ plus community on college campus of Maryville College, Desmond sent a letter to the organizers and officials asserting that the judge's ruling did not apply in the district and that he was prepared to prosecute any potential violations of the AEA in any event. His letter prompted a lawsuit from the ACLU on behalf of Blount Pride and a drag performer, Flamey Grant, arguing the letter was a naked attempt to chill constitutionally protected free speech. Had defendant Desmond merely wished to notify the public that he intends to enforce the law, he could have issued a public statement, the lawsuit says. Instead, he sent a letter targeting Blount Pride and drag artists who, perform, who are scheduled to perform. All parties in the lawsuit have been ordered by Greer to appear at the federal courthouse in Greenville for a preliminary injunction on Friday, 8th of September. So this coming Friday, there's going to be a further thing. Okay. wonder how these weird mums that take their kids to these events would feel if they dropped Timmy off at a friend's and mum was in her bra and panties dancing in, a gra in the game room. Also, Barton Bella, well done for getting me to say the P word on stream. I did not see that one coming. This is what I've got to read properly. Say that many of the drag shows I've seen or heard in Tennessee are just entertainers playing a role like Dolly Parton and other singers, nothing bad. Fair enough, Cindy. Gyrating your dong and twerking your brown starfish at children is not a free speech issue. <laughs> and I think that's the problem here. That's, that's really the problem that I have here is that there's a clear difference between what is sexualized and what is not. Like, legitimately, if it is an individual who is just dressing up and it's not, um, what am I trying to say here? If there's no sexualization about it, then I don't see that necessarily being an issue. What I have an issue with is what we're all familiar with and what gets blurred and, ro and rolled into all that, like those parades that I'm talking about, like... Where it's a frigging like drag strip show and you've got a four-year-old child walking up and sticking a dollar bill into an individual's like underwear line. I don't even want to say that anymore. Makes kids start questioning. I don't care if they're dressed up as a queen of England. It's just not, it's not just sex. Okay. Well, anyway, we'll have to wait until Friday to see exactly how that one pans out because the judge issued the temporary restraining order to allow it to go ahead over the weekend. And we'll have to see exactly where that one pans out, so...